Yes. Oh! Yes. Give that man that rose. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. absolutely. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Memory Ash. I'm Ashley. I'm Mitch. And we're watching mm -hmm. The Bachelorette Jen, episode, episode three. three. Yeah, which we think somebody's getting kicked off. Very excited. Yes. Also, if you want to know why my eyebrows look different, check out our other series that we're running parallel to this, which is Too Hot to Handle Season 6. Anyway. Just, if you ever doubt our commitment to our channel, we are we are committed. Okay? We're committed. We're fully committed. We present that commitment to you, the Bachelorette <laughs> crowd, as well. Uh, it just it hasn't come up yet. Nobody's requested right. anything. Yeah, so we were going to originally film this in 4K because we just hit 4,000 subs. Yay! And we actually already said this before, but the iPhone, the, our, our video recorder, ran out of storage while we were talking. So... <laughs> It's fixed now. Just a comedy of errors over here. Don't worry about it. We want to say thank you, everybody, for uh, subbing and just coming back to watch with us because yes. it's um, it's it's been really fun and really amazing. And yeah, I love I love talking to people and watching shows with y'all. Yeah, it's been really great, and we really appreciate everybody. And also, if you're not subbed, now's a great time. Now's a great time. We're trying to hit five thousand before we get to our one year mark. Yes. Yeah. So, which is in September. So we're very much hoping that we hit 5,000, which is like honestly beyond oh, our like extra wildest goals? expectations yeah. of how the channel would do. So pretty yeah. freaking cool that uh, all of y'all are a part of that with us. All right. Well, I Let's feel like go. we should just hop in, right? Let's do What's it. What's there to talk about? Yeah. Jen's dating a bunch of men. Tonight's episode of The Bachelorette contains images of a graphic nature. This is ridiculous. They're just, they're just, they're building it up because it's 99% women that watch this and it's yeah. going to be a bunch of young dudes that are super hot and like shaking their, their hips. Is anyone else like deeply uncomfortable with that? Because like, listen, I want people to do whatever they want to do. Like if you want to be scantily clad and like yeah. gyrating, like go for it. But like, I don't want... Like, not for me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, do it for you, but don't, don't do, do it, it for me. Don't do it for me. me. Yeah. <laughs> You've been in strip clubs, like, right? No, like, I've never been in a strip club. Not, not once. Not one time? Not once. I feel like we've had this conversation yeah. before, and I just forget every time. I've been to a male strip club before, and it was just uncomfortable. I was yeah. Everybody I was with was not uncomfortable, but yeah. I was deeply uncomfortable. I have a question for you, because I already know my opinion about it, and I don't know where that's coming from fully, but, mm. like, do you find men and women doing strip tease equally kind of non-sexual or, or strange because you don't you don't find no. ma stripping men sexy at all you think it's like kind of goofy it's a zero out of zero yeah yeah zero and i 10, agree with whatever. that and i don't think it's because i'm not attracted to men i don't find anyone doing a strip tease like for money sexy. oh yeah okay like you. if you're doing it because you're like, trying to like seduce you're somebody. You're trying to seduce someone. I do feel like I could find that potentially sexy. Okay. But I just don't. You, somebody did a strip tease for you to try and get you, kind of thing. Yeah, if it's okay. yeah, but if it's like a service industry thing, then like I just, I'm okay. Which we also you know? support people doing that, but it's sure. like just not personally. But it's also like I prefer to go to a restaurant where I wait on myself. Do you know what that's I mean? True. Like I prefer to bust go your own table. order myself, bust my own table. Like I don't like to be waited on yeah, at all. That's true. I that's don't true. like to be served. I don't. I worked from in the service. We both worked in the service industry long yeah. enough. But I think a part of that for me is like I don't. I agree. I don't like being yeah. served. Like yeah. if I go into a clothing store, I don't want anyone being like if they're like, yeah. "Can I help you?" I'm like, "No." Like yeah. even if I need help. I'm like, no, no, you yeah. can't. Spencer, can our love take us higher? All right. Oh, wow. it's a one-on-one -on -one with Spencer. With Good the cat, for him, cat dude. Dad. Oh my God, all the cat men out there. He's representing them This is a win for well. the cat men, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Serious? Is this your first time you ever Never been in a helicopter Never been in a helicopter. Before. They're always putting motherfuckers in helicopters. I know, every time. Why? I guess because it's considered romantic. For me, again, this is a nightmare. There, uh, This whole episode yeah. is just things that make me uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Going into this dinner, I'm nervous. I've been engaged before. My ex was cheating on me. Poor Spencer. Yeah. This is awful. It was dark for her a while. She was cheating on him? Is that what happened? Oh, that's so sick. Then. Oh, yeah. Oh, Spencer. That's literally awful. That is. The worst was having to acknowledge the fact that someone that I had like this complete trust in, I was betrayed. It's gotta be like incredibly hard to trust people then. Yeah. Because if someone that you trust so deeply can do that to you, then to go out and like date new people, yeah. it's like, how do you trust these new people are not gonna do that same thing to you? Absolutely. Oh. I will say he's showing up like really 
strong in himself, given that's his past. Sometimes people that have been cheated on will get kind of kind of wild on these shows because they get really triggered. Yeah, because he's true. he's dating somebody who's dating a bunch of other people. It's not an excuse for like bad behavior for yeah. people for sure, but it is like an explanation for it why maybe for a some reason. people there's yeah. a trigger point there where for other people it wouldn't mm-hmm. be. Do you feel like you're at a place in your life where you're ready for an engagement again? Yes, I'm very ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm happy for him. He's been able to process it, and it's yeah. been four years, and he feels ready. That's a good I feel amount like of time. Yeah. It is. Like, it's hard when people come on and it's been six months or even yeah, a year. Yeah, that feels bad. Right. Yeah. After that level of, like, to me, like, that can be really traumatic. Absolutely. Like, just depending on yeah, who yeah. the person is, that could be incredibly that. traumatic. And then, like, you need that processing time. Yeah. And sometimes, like, you know, I think people think they're ready and they're not. But, like, that yeah. seems like a good amount of time. And he seems to be able to talk about it really yeah. easily. Yeah, he yeah. is. I don't know. Do you really just great with me? He's so sweet. He seems like such a genuine he guy, does. man. You so rarely see this on these shows. Cat dads? Yeah, like just genuine, like nice. He seems yeah. nice, you know? But he's not the I'm a nice guy kind no. of nice. He's not saying that. He he's just not is advertising nice. it. He's acting yeah. like a like a sweet, genuine guy. Spencer, will you accept this rose? Always, absolutely. Always getting a kiss. I think Aww. he's kissed her before. That's he kissed the one... her in the helicopter. Oh, okay, all right. And he's kissed her before that, too. Yeah. They have a good connection, they weirdly do. enough. Because I really thought he was going to get eliminated night yeah. one, if I'm being honest. When she's in med school, she's going to need somebody scooping that box. Yeah. Does she have pets? No, she she fosters animals, right? Yeah, she fosters kids. Yeah, okay, okay. It's our first date. Like, I can't imagine where else this could go. I love their connection, too, because it, there's a physical connection, and then he also clearly makes her feel safe. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh, man. Yeah, didn't, what am I, I didn't what is think wrong Spencer would be coming, coming in like that, honestly. <laughs> I know, me Got a lot more game than I expected. <laughs> I'm a mess now. Yeah. now. I'm just crying at everything. I'm like, oh, they're cute together. I'm yeah. going to cry. Thomas N. Sam M. Devin. <laughs> <laughs> it's Devin and the two people that hate him the most yeah. in the house. <laughs> Producer decision. <laughs> For sure. At the historic Forum Theater in Melbourne. I'm such a fan of performance. Like, I really like theater. And I like how she's selling it. Tonight, you get your chance to shine in the Bachelorette's Love Down Under show. I am mortified. I would be Sam mortified, and... too. I would be a little irritated, to be honest. Like, I... Take your clothes off I don't and dance love for it. me. I never love when they do this though. When they put them through talent shows, when they do all this yeah. stuff. Like for me, this I don't know, hard pass. No, well then you. the question, have they ever done like a strip tease with the women for The Bachelor? I doubt it. So then that is that a potential double standard? I don't like this, and I yeah. also don't like forcing people to like engage in performance. Yeah. I like I have some negative feelings about that from like being a kid and being made to perform and yeah. like I just don't think that it's right to force people to do this. Yeah. Personally. I hear you. But they do. Every season they make people do some kind of weird performance. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Send it. Wait, never mind, never mind. <laughs> In front of Jen. I screwed up my wrist. Oh, Sam, it's okay. Out there tonight, there is going to be a live audience. I'm making myself look like a fool. Oh man. I feel really bad for Sam. This is awful. I think what today is really all about is showing your personality and really stepping outside of your comfort zone. But some people's personality isn't this. It's like opposite like there of that. is no yeah. way to show your personality in this because it's not bombastic. You don't want to be on stage and you're being forced to do something you're deeply uncomfortable yeah. with. And that's where I feel like Sam yeah, is. Yeah, it's one thing if you got to choose what you were doing. Yeah. And somebody like chooses a strip. I don't care. Even like the talent show scenario, yeah. right? And I still I still don't even agree with that because yeah. I don't agree with forcing people up on a stage to do something potentially really embarrassing. Like I don't I don't like that. But yeah, that it has to be a strip tease yeah. is messed up. I strained my right my right thumb and now I have to dance in front of a crowd. Oh man. That sucks. I feel so bad for him. And, like, he doesn't need to be doing this to be in love with someone is, like, his point. Yeah. And, like, I absolutely agree with that. We're going to be cooking it. We're going to be getting a little saucy in there today. Oh, man. I just... <laughs> This is, this we is the so only... not my thing, yeah. okay? I just don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm going out there. There's hundreds of people. I don't have abs. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Devin. I love how much Devin owns his stuff, honestly. He knows who he is. Yes. And he's, he's actually the confidence to say, he's like, this is my wheelhouse. I appreciate that, too. He's not putting it on. I'm doing what I need to do for Jen, so. <laughs> honestly, be goofy, so. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> 
I love that Devin's able to do that, but I don't think that you should be forced to do something yeah. like that. And yeah. I don't think it says anything about Sam that he, like, doesn't want to. Yeah. You know? Like, he's just a little more introverted. I think that that should be fine. Yeah, I agree. I'm pumped. I can't wait for this. Pumped. Sam. Of course. that He leads with sex first. I know. So, like, of course he loves this. Chattish moment right here. Chattish moment? There's nothing chat about him. <sighs> I'm sorry. Except for the jawline, maybe. The jawline? He's yeah. been mewing. He's been mewing. Dan, not ready for this. You're not ready for this. I like Dylan. I feel like he has a good attitude about like pretty much everything, and he's yeah. just happy, you know. And he's having a good time, and he's like, he also doesn't have the best body there, but he's like having fun with it. <laughs> the pink shorts. He yeah. has a pretty good body, honestly. No, though. yeah, I know, but I mean, like some of these people are like ridiculously cut. Dudes are leaning into it. <laughs> Everyone's doing really good, doing which makes it even harder if you like don't do a great job. If, oh, they haven't shown Sam oh, yet. Oh, Sam! And he's injured. Oh. Jonathan's a ham. We already know he that. He is a ham. He 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 likes a uh, an outfit yeah. and a ridiculous display. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. He is funny. He is. He's funny. very entertaining. I like him. 100% in my comfort zone right now. Oh, Sam M. 100% just confident in myself. All right, great. We, we get it, Sam. Chef Fluster. Uh the connection between him and Jen is suspect to me. And when we were watching the last episode and he she gave him the rose and he came up to her and he said something to the effect of like, you're making me, like you made me sweat or like you made me, you're yeah, making me work Yeah, yeah, don't it. make me sweat. And she was like, shh. You know, yeah, yeah. and that made me feel weird. And it's all sexual. We just have a lot of sexual touch. Uh, okay. A lot. You've got to be wary of these ones. I know. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Australian Thank bachelorettes. You. Thank you. Because I did that, I picked him, and it was like, ended up not being. That's my choice. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Australia. Because that's not a sufficient connection to make yeah. a life with someone. Yeah. Like, if that's on top of the rest yes, of the great. connection, amazing. But that is all they have so yeah, far. Yeah, I agree. Like, it is not, and it's too hot, too fast. Uh huh. Like, there's too much lust. If it's, it's like, just lust, then right, you don't have a relationship. It's covering everything. Yeah. And then you got all these other guys that are like, I care about her, I care about her, and all she's thinking about is having sex with Sam. Who is you know? like... That's so good! He's got the banana hammock! Oh my god! He does have a good energy, right? right? Yes. He has, He's... Pete, he has Pete Davidson energy, yeah. man. He's not a good body comparatively like he's fine there's nothing wrong with him but like he's not the best body there but he no. is working with what he's got yes he actually killed it he killed that's it. that's great he did amazing yeah. his ass cheeks are out that is amazing uh this is something very outside of my comfort zone oh sam oh they're making him go so late in the game too is he the last one? Oh, sam sam you can do it we believe in you sam we believe in you <laughs> Cut the music. What's he doing? What are you doing? I know you want us to bear it all, but I'm here to bear my soul. I see myself getting on one knee for you. Jen, I'm already falling in love with you. Oh, early. 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 A little early. He's going to do that a instead little, of a little dance? Early. A little early. Sam. Do you see Tom? Tom is A is me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was nice. I thought until the like he's never been in love with anyone and he's known her for like it feels three manipulative. Days. Yeah. Yeah. That's no good. I'd say that's premature. Um, but he also claims that he's never been in love. So maybe he doesn't know what that's like. Yeah, right? Yes. I hate Weird. to agree with Thomas N here. I but... know, dude. And the title of Mr. Love Down Under goes to Jonathan. Goofy. He won for being goofy. And he did, he did the moves. Yeah. Like, he did some of the stuff. I don't find much credibility in the words coming from Sam and tonight. Sam is like, there can be only one. <laughs> it's easy to question if he really even understands what that idea of that ferocious love really looks like. Oh, shut the f up. What is with the ferocious? We don't need the ferocious love tagline. We don't need to tagline. coin it, yeah. 
I'm glad Jonathan won. Yeah. I like Jonathan. I think he's goofy. I think he's fun. Yeah. And he also, they've had deep conversations. Yeah. They have a pretty good connection. I agree. Not mad about it. No. He deserved to win, for sure. He brought it. You know, I asked you guys to bear it all, and you guys really bared it all. Some like people a little too much. Devin should have won for the ass cheeks out. You put your ass cheeks out, you should win. It's auto win. Is that it? Auto then everybody win. would just do their ass cheeks, and what do you do then if everybody's got their ass cheeks out? It's like it's like nuclear holocaust at that point. Full nudity. Full nudity. <laughs> And then they're all just shaking their dicks. That's not what we need to see. I still don't like that they all had to do that, honestly. Yeah, I still don't like it either. They should have had options. Yeah, felt a little exploitative, but you know, this show is nothing if not exploitative. Yeah. Growing up, I was a pretty heavy kid. Like, like, and uh, I had a lot of insecurities about my weight. Oh, body image issues. Yeah. I think people don't realize that like Mm -hmm. men have them too. Absolutely. Do you feel better after? After doing the dance? Yeah. Like, oh, do you yeah. Feel it was like, like I let it all out there, yeah. you know? I'm glad that he feels that way because when people put me in that position, I resent them. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what was he going to say? Come in and be like, I resent you, Jen, for making me do that? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's one quick way to lose this, lose her heart. Yeah, I mean, I would be mad. I'd be mad. I was forced to complete a ropes course once and I didn't want to. And they she told was me. Mad. They told me I could get down at any time, and then when I was up there, they were like, you actually can't, it's dangerous. And I was pissed. As you should have been. And then afterwards, people were like, but aren't you glad you did it? Because we, like, completed it. And I was like, no, I'm not. I feel yeah, like coerced. I was manipulated into doing yeah. something I told you I didn't want to do. I can't get past the judge. Like, there's, it's an insecurity, right? Like, Did I feel like it was a little premature for Sam to come out there and say that? I definitely did. Did I take offense to it? I sure did. Take offense to it? I don't know. I don't know. If I guess <laughs> if you think it's manipulative, it, it would be kind of offensive. And we both said, like, I, I feel like it may have been a little manipulative. Could have been. I feel like Sam M feels like the kind of guy that thinks he has to be in control of everything at all times. M? Yes. Okay, just clarifying. M. M. So like then Mitchell. he's, like, irritated at Sam N yeah. for doing something that he doesn't approve of. And that he didn't when... foresee happening. Because he, he's like, I have, I'm going to crush this. Right. But then this guy's doing something totally different. He didn't, yeah. he didn't like okay ahead of time kind of thing yeah exactly oh i don't want you ever to ever feel like ashamed of ever telling me how you feel like that said you're gonna be going home today (laughs) it does feel very early but at the end of the day i am here for love she says rolling her eyes literally and for him to be feeling all these things already makes me feel reassured she's rolling her eyes so much i know there's like five times she rolled them all as much as you do I'm an eye roller. You're an eye roller. I don't mean to. It just happens. Sometimes yeah. it's not really even when I'm feeling eye rolly. Yeah. You know? It's tough to think that with Sam and somebody that's never been in a relationship, uh, that's never had a girlfriend, can truly understand, you know, what love looks like. You know what? Sam and Thomas should just leave together. How about that? They Sam should. Sam M and Thomas N can just the, yeah. fly off into the sunset together. And they can How talk at each other without listening. You yeah. Know? Absolutely. And they can just reinforce their own harmful male stereotypes together instead of infecting the rest of the men and Jen with their nonsense. I knew they couldn't let the night go by without snickering or whispering. Yeah, they've really kind of been bullying Devin. Yeah. It's weird. Not bad for him to feel how he feels because he's never been there. And for them to judge was really, really low in my opinion. Oh, man. So he's mad. Honestly, Devin's showing up kind of here. He is. Cause I don't, I don't necessarily trust Sam N, but like the fact that they're over there snickering about it, it feels shitty. And clearly it came to me from Sam N. It felt like it came from a place of like, oh God, I can't do this trip. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? do? This is what I'm going to do. And it was a miss and not a hit. And then he feels incredibly uncomfortable about it. Just because I use the word love. I feel like it devalues what I was trying to say. Sam M dude. It's starting to fall in love right not in love or already in love you have no reason to feel sorry for what you do and who you are oh go devin <laughs> devin's showing up oh. we are stressed out this episode is honestly making me mad so let's uh i'll take a break and play some ads yes please when sam was talking sam m and, and thomas n and- these dudes are laughing. Because they're mean. They're, they're mean shit men. And Devin's yeah. dealt with that already in his life. He's been mean bullied or men, something, probably. Right? And, and maybe there's a reason he's not guys. getting along with the guys in the house. Yeah, absolutely. Because honestly, most they're men They're mean, suck. dude. Yeah. You got respect for us, yes I or would, no? I would open the okay. opportunity. I, I, I would open I the opportunity. Talk to a clown like this. Answer the question. Yes or no? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Sam M is a fucking asshole. I hate that guy. I say it. <laughs> I say it with my chest. <laughs> I do not like Sam. I don't like him either. 
He's a shitty person. And it doesn't mean that my opinion wouldn't change, but I don't, at this point, I don't feel like it's like, oh, I don't like what he's doing right now. I don't like him. Yeah. Like, I don't like how he's showing up on the show. I don't like the version of him that I'm seeing. And I would hope that there's a different version, but I don't really think that there is. I think this is who he is. I can't think of a single moment in my life when I've been like snickering in the corner as somebody was sharing their deep insecurities. Yeah, absolutely. And discomfort. And like laughing at them. Right. And like making fun of them. With your, your bro gonna, in a corner. do like corner. a super cut of us like laughing at people as they feel uncomfortable or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well listen. I mean we're watching TV know. shows. But like in real life. Yeah. Like doing that to someone's face. Like while they're struggling. Yeah. Absolutely f- not. Yeah. Devin is a bully. I will continue to preach it. He's a bully. He's just somebody that's going to talk over you. And continue to try and make you feel bad. But Needs I, to look up the definition of bully in the dictionary. It's yeah, under his for name. Ris- for yeah. For real. Because Holy he's a bully. Shit. I'm sorry, he's I just saw that, and it's like, No, yeah. for real. He's a I bully. I don't like this guy. Oh, shut up. Where, what did the line, where, what movie did you get that from? Oh, gross, cheap. dude. No. Gross. No. I don't like Sam M. He's not a good guy. There's just something there, and I don't know what it is. It's just that you want to sleep with him. He's not a good guy. Why are you doing this? It's annoying, honestly. Oh, wait, should I? What are you doing? Yeah. It makes me, this is frustrating because it makes me think less of Jen, and I really like Jen, but like the fact that like this is what we're watching on the show sucks. Yeah. Like this sucks. You just fall into that moment right there. And you forget about all the outside noise. This is annoying. This feels like high school to me, is what this feels like. Sam M is like the guy that's stuck in high school. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. His biggest accomplishments were throwing a football in high school. He still feels like he's cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's the the vibes that I get from him. And she has real men here. And instead, she's entertaining that guy. Yeah. Why? I think this rose goes to someone who I know is confident, but... Show me a little bit something different tonight. Give it to him. Devin. Yes! Oh! Yes! Give that man that rose. Yes! Oh! Ho, ho, Absolutely! Shit. Yes! I think it's a testament to the kind of man that she may want in the future, so. <laughs> oh, man. Devin could stand to not poke the bear so much, to be honest. He also knows that he can handle it. I'm just laughing. So disrespectful. That's the only emotion that can really be pulled out of me in that situation. That's so uh, disrespectful. He makes me physically ill. Yeah. I'm getting gross. A little pukey over here. He's trying to bully Sam N, who's clearly having confidence issues. Mm-hmm. Clearly, like, honestly, he's struggling with his mental health, right? He's trying to bully Devin, who's yeah. not struggling with shit. But he's still attempting to make Devin feel small at actually, every opportunity. I kind of respect Devin, too, because I think he's... He, and I understand that he's seeing those people being shitty to other people and he's taking it on himself by poking, poking the bear keeps it off people like Sam. Ed. Yeah. It keeps it focused on him and, and he's navigating it. My fighter pilot training dates. I just got word that they came through. That's what I've been waiting honestly for a year and a half for. He might be leaving. You have a day to think about it. Wait for what? Fighter, fighter pilot? pilot training. I mean, you don't probably f- wrong shit like that. That is selective. No. Yeah. You go. I feel like I could have something really special with Jen. No, you leave. You go do it. That's your career. No, no, That's no. your whole life. You go do that. Also, you're kind of annoying on the show, so right, yeah, yeah. yeah. He seems like a fighter pilot, actually. I don't remember because I hear they're I all like assholes. Him, but... Um, it was like giving them, giving Devin the or somebody the book and being like, "You could learn from me." Oh, that's and right. Stuff. It was oh, really God. awful so and annoying. Rude. Yeah. Condescending. So is he going on this date and then deciding? Probably. Wow. I really feel like that's such a huge opportunity. Yeah, I really, really hope we don't watch him pass that up for Bachelorette. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Jesse teaches us how to put it in gear and, and clutch and take us through a little course. Oh, well, it's complicated. Although this guy's like a car guy, right? No, he just has an expensive car. Oh, that's a little embarrassing, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> for having such a nice car, he should know how to drive... Stick. I lose the race on purpose, but in this journey, every moment counts. Oh, he got a kiss I, in. You know, I really don't mind Jeremy, which it's really, it's strange how I changed my tune, but yeah, I just feel like you should make your decisions boldly, and I do that, and then when I need to make a new decision, then I'll make that, and Jeremy yeah. is okay. He's okay. Taking home first place at one minute and 20 seconds is Austin. She goes in. I, I want to give her credit for going in with all these yeah, guys. Yeah, she doesn't half-ass the kisses. No. She yeah. goes for those kisses. She's just having fun, you know? I mean, there's only really one way to figure it out, and yeah. like... 
That's Let's shoving tongue down people's throats. Absolutely. Go for it. I've said it to you before. I think kissing's cheap. Like Kissing's cheap. Go for it. Go for it. I mean, not you go for it. Yeah, Her no, go not it. you go for it either. <laughs> Y'all go for it. Y'all go for it. Y'all go for it. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Jen, go for it. Jen is definitely the type of woman I could see myself marrying. It's just like how she makes you feel is so comfortable. I don't love when people say like, I could see myself with this person because they make me feel good. It's like, yeah. but what, like I like it better when they pick out specific things that yeah. they're like, she's really smart. She's really funny. Well, because like, he's making it about himself. Yeah. I feel comfortable around you. Yeah. Therefore, I want to but marry you. But that's not really a compliment. Yeah, it's necessarily. not. It's focusing on yourself. Yeah. You have a fun day. So he didn't tell her that he has like a massive decision he has to make. Because I would be pretty mad if, like, you had that kind of a life decision and you, like, didn't tell me. And then I didn't yeah. realize that, like, continuing on meant that, like, you weren't going to get to do something that was really important to you. Yeah. And then you hold it over. I quit my dream for you. Like, what kind of crazy shit happens after that? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that deserves a conversation. I agree. I hate knowing that there was a point in my life where I thought of myself so low and I let somebody treat me in such a bad way. Why do I feel like the one that treated her so poorly is going to be showing up to the show? Like, I get, I'm get, i getting uncomfortable about the way she's talking. Me too. And what we know will happen. I didn't know what love was growing up. I didn't see it, and I didn't feel it from a father figure. That's hard. Formative years when you're young, like, that'll it's mess tough. you up. Yeah. And then, I think we've talked about this, she's around the age where you really unpack a lot of shit around the time Definitely. you're hitting 30 for a lot of people it's yes. like wow all this stuff i thought was normal was not normal yes and you yep. start seeing the patterns of your relationships and shit like that totally makes me realize how much i want a healthy relationship it's like in order to do that i do kind of have to rehash all the stuff that i've been through yep that there's like a there's a trauma unraveling element to this yeah for sure definitely it's gotta be exhausting for her though because it's like yeah constant. yeah and you have to have big conversations with these people because if you don't then you end up with the connection she has with sam m which is, which is just sex and yeah sex, and it's incredibly yeah. shallow so bear me will you accept this rose love to it kind of makes sense. Like, Jeremy's not my favorite, but he's not my least favorite. And I don't like him more for, like, ideological yeah. reasons than I do, He's like, like an ideological opponent. Yeah. He's like, it's like landlords. I don't like landlords. I don't like landlords. Right. Yeah. Jeremy is a, kind of a landlord. I don't think we'd be friends. Yeah. But he's treating Jen well. Yeah. So. I hope it goes better than our last rose ceremony. There was a lot of drama. It won't, Dylan. Hopefully, everyone can just focus on Jen and leave the drama behind. Dylan. I like Dylan for that because he is staying out of it. Yeah. And I respect all the men that are staying out of it. Yeah. Devin kind of can't help but be in it because he's been brought in it so many times. And then he had that sense of like justice with like mm -hmm. Sam N. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Something else going on. Trying to figure out where I'm at with. You gotta leave. And you gotta leave at 29. Like, he, you may not get that opportunity. That's a again. shot. That probably right. is one opportunity. Do not miss it. <gasps> Good to see you. It's good to see you too. Um, Here we go. Had a dream of being a fighter pilot. Because he could give up on that and then yes. not get her. And then what the f Absolutely. are you even doing? Then you just lose everything and you're depressed. Yes. If this is your dream and if you've been working so hard for this, like, I want to cheer you on and do that. And, like, I can't thank you enough. Excellent Jen response. Okay. She's awesome. Jen! I, I love Jen. <laughs> Jen's just great, okay? We love you, Jen. You're awesome. Best bachelorette. I mean, I haven't seen any of the others, but I love Jen. I've seen a lot of them, and let me tell you, I Leonardo's like Jen better great. than I like pretty much anybody else. Really? So, yeah. I'm not going to name names, but there are people that aren't ready. Oh. I like that you slapped my stomach for that because it got picked up in there. <laughs> Why in the world would he say that to her? So they're not ready or are they here, they're here for the wrong reasons? Both. He means Devin and he's a bully. Get out, Aaron. Just leave. I just know my reasons and I don't. Just leave. Aaron, just fucking leave. What's wrong with you? God damn it. Honestly. God damn it. He was making such an okay thing. Like... Right. He was doing such a good thing. He was doing so good, Aaron, and you just can't freaking help yourself yeah. from doing something like this that's shady and crappy. And just go be a pilot and just stop being on my TV screen, please. That's I not, think you know. That's not fair. I, I, no, I, I don't know because I generally feel like I have a connection with a lot of those guys down there. I love I love how Jen's, again, sticking up for herself. 
saying this isn't fair. Yes. You don't just sit it's you just not pull the shit fair. out. And it's also unfair. These guys it's are on so you to figure out centered. To not tell me who these people are that he thinks is just that's cruel. That's garbage. That sucks. That's for it you to figure cruel. out. It's cruel. F Aaron, man. This sucks for her. This does. This sucks, man. And then, like, Aaron has done this to her. Way to, way to f***ing leave, bro. I had to walk Aaron out today, and before he left today, he told me that there are some people who are here for the wrong reasons. That's not even true. I don't, that's not even true. I mean, maybe, but not from In his information. In his opinion. Yeah, no, I know. It's not his right to do that. I know, he doesn't know these people. Nobody here has indicated that they have a partner at Yeah. Home. Nobody here has indicated that they don't like Jen. Those are the kinds of things that he's seen he's planting in her head now marcus do you want to go chat oh she's mad she's like oh she's marcus mad. marcus now did he have a personal conversation with one of you that said hey i'm not here for the right reasons i'm here for a game show that's my boy right there it ain't fair for any single person in this room to dismiss the way that he feels oh my gosh i just couldn't be on a different page than sam m i don't like that man i ain't gonna spend my time i don't spend my time talking about none of y'all that's not what true what are you talking he about he and thomas are constantly in the corner talking about other people what is he even talking about every time he's talking to the producers talk crap about Devin, talk crap I about know. sam n no they have made their entire journey here not about jen yes. i know he's uh, absolutely right it's about attacking other people that they feel are weaker than them is yeah. what's happening it's like it's annoying yeah child behavior i feel like i've been behaving myself i'm scared i feel like i've been behaving myself you're okay marcus <laughs> that would be me i'd be like did i do something wrong yeah. i don't know i don't think so i think i'm here for the right reasons am i not marcus is like getting the imposter syndrome <laughs> <laughs> but she's picking Marcus to talk to after that because she trusts him. Yeah, she and it's feels a comfort person him. to talk yeah. to. Yeah. You know, I was pretty unsure about this entire experience. You got to leave too? <laughs> yeah, no. You gonna leave too? I love Jen's no shit attitude. When she's oh, on, she's angry like Jen. I, I love, love it. Angry Jen. I love it. We need her angry more often. Not for her health, but for our entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is enough. I don't really okay, need to see right. it again. Right. It was nice though watching her stand up for herself. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good seeing her. And you're right. She pulled Marcus because she felt like yeah. she would be calmed down by talking to him, and she yeah. was. She felt safe around him. If you want to talk, yeah, we will step outside and we can talk. What is he even doing to him? Not ne ever, never. Jen is a smart girl. She's not a girl. She's a woman. Yeah. I call her girl all the time, but yeah. I'm mad when no, he does it. You're allowed to. You're like, hey, girl. That's different <laughs> than she's a smart girl. Because Aaron's my boy. Wait a little heavy on me. Aaron's my boy. Red flag after red flag. Such Jen. a red flag. Such a red Leave this man in the dust, Jen. He doesn't care about you. He cares about himself and his weird he little ego. So it's all good. Okay. God, oh. you're good. Hold oh, on. No, I'm good. She's doing this like a fucking like, cross-examination. She's like, oh, you're not rattled at all? Do you know who you need to watch out for is the people that aren't rattled at all. Because you know who's rattled? Marcus. He was yeah. immediately like, oh shit, oh shit. And and he's like, I'm, no, I'm guy. here for the right reasons. Marcus this guy, is a good guy. Line after line from this man. What I kept thinking back to was, was you. I think I really just wanted like a hug from you. Oh no, gross. Jen. Jen, gross. Jen. Jen, gross. He's a walking red flag. It's not even her fault. Like I, d I don't blame her because he's so manipulative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, and he's obviously got some features she really likes or something, you know? She likes the way he's he looks. He's very attractive. Yeah. I do believe him. No, Jen. Jen! No! He's bullying other contestants, Jen. <sighs> Devin really makes me emotional, no, no, no. telling me that it's not me being perfect that draws him in, but it's me being basically my worst self. Because that's the kind of person he is. He's rough around the edges, and rough around the edges guy is going to like feisty Jen, right? Because he's feisty. He's feisty. He doesn't want somebody who's just going to be like, yes, 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 all the time. He wants somebody who's going to feist back. Yeah, It's like absolutely. you and me. Yeah. Like, I love it when you're feisty. Me too. Yeah. I like it when you're feisty too. We've actually had a conversation. I where, like, like feisting where with we, you. We talk about, like, like we talk over each other sometimes, yeah. and we swear around each other sometimes, and yeah. you're like, no, I want that. Yeah. You specifically say you want that. I do. You want the, that energy. Yeah. yeah. It's not like fighting. Like, I don't want to be fighting with my yeah. partner, but I want to have that kind of like banter to yeah. me that's banter yeah and i want to be able to disagree with the person i'm with i don't want mm -hmm. to feel like i always have to not disagree or you always have to not disagree yeah. in order to keep the peace i, I don't agree. want that <laughs> get out of here get out of here we not have you told him but you didn't act on it then i was, was like yo is this what we're gonna do why are they fighting again I don't what even... is the no, purpose of it. all of this <laughs> it's stupid shut the <laughs> up everyone cat man Catman! Yeah, Catman! Spencer! Oh, you made Catman mad. Catman big mad. Let's like... Whew. 
he's popping off like a cat right now. Thank you, Spencer. Just like, Rah! claws came out. Jesus Christ. It is ridiculous. And then there are certain men that didn't even get to talk to her. There are certain people that didn't get the time with her that they needed because they need to be able to develop mm-hmm. a relationship. And instead, these assholes are out here arguing. And Devin is a part of that. But, you know, not having that chance to talk to Jen tonight. That sucks for Austin because Austin seems like a really nice guy. Yeah. And they've clearly yeah. had a good connection. They've kissed. What if she thinks it's me? Yeah. Absolutely what if no. she thinks it's him? And he never yeah. had a chance to say it's not me. It's Every one really of those guys is paranoid them. now. It's so annoying to me because yeah. it's none of them. Well, because what he's trying to say is Devin. Yeah, He's like, Fuck which, Devin. and instead of just saying I don't like Devin, which is really what it is, because like you can't. Yeah. Devin didn't tell him Say he's there chest, for somebody else or he's dating someone else on the side or yeah. like he doesn't actually like Jen and just wants to win the show absent of that Aaron has no right to say what he said to Jen period I agree. no right man he could have just left yeah I almost liked him yeah right today. like go oh, chase like, your dreams bro him. yeah chase your dreams and now I'm just mad now fuck I'm pissed. that guy yeah now I hate him it's also like a self-centered thing. Absolutely. It where is. like he feels like he knows better, but then he's not gonna give her the information yeah. she needs because he's like, well, you need to figure it out. Like I've already figured it out, but like you need to figure it out now. It's f- you, bro. Yeah, no. Absolutely. You God you tell damn, Aaron. You dude. tell Aaron. I'm so mad. I'm so mad at this man, I don't know. John M. They have given John no airtime. I know, right? He keeps getting roses, but, like, I don't know who, who is he, he is. Yeah. I know he's a med student. I don't know anything past that because they're giving him literally no time. You're feeling some of that Jen energy today, aren't you? Mad, man. Aaron really <laughs> ticked me off, dude. Ugh, the audacity. Yeah. It's going to be hard for me to edit this because I'm just going to be yeah. watching myself. Ah! Ah! <laughs> losing my mind. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Like, if Hakeem gets cut over I know, this, I know. I'm going to be devastated. She did not have a lot of roses. Ugh. I'm so ready for love. I believe you, Hakeem. Sam M. Ugh, Ugh, gross. We knew he was going to get picked, though. Gross. Thomas N. Thomas. Thomas N got another rose. Come on. I mean, he hasn't popped off since the other day. He's know. getting a little too snickery buddy-buddy with Sam M, but he's not grown men making fun of people in a corner it's gross it's gross yeah i get yeah you. and laughing in their face while they're like yeah. saying yeah. like heartfelt things messed up no thank you if i didn't get a rose i'd be heartbroken all right who is it it's between sam and hakeem and who else hasn't gotten a rose has austin gotten one or was yes. I no- okay austin got one. Oh, it's the other thomas who they also give no airtime to so i have so, no idea what his personality yeah. is he got good abs though sam and no, oh, come on. what? Ugh. Oh, man. It's fine. He's, it's okay. He's fine. I just don't think they have an actual connection. But... Any one of those three was going to get cut soon anyway. I know. So, I know. you know, it, it you're talking sucks. about your chaff and the at vibes that point. are going to be worse now because he came's gone because he yeah. gassed everybody up. He was fun. He was always the first one to be clapping for people, supporting people. Yeah. And being like, hey, can we just have fun, guys? Life of the party. Yeah. I like Hakeem. How mad this show makes me. I know, right? <laughs> Dang, dude. Oh, my gosh. We need to calm. We need to light a candle after this. Light a candle? Yeah. Why? Just like just get some nice some tension. Yeah. Get, yeah. Release okay. Some tension. I can't instill fear into this dude. I can instill fear into this dude. In the real world, you would never do this. In the real world, I would snap you in half. In the real world, I would snap you in half. So he's like a psychopath. No. Sam M is a scary, that's violent scary, guy. Scary dude. Well, that's that episode. A few things played out differently than we expected with the get out of here. It was just sort of a general thing because Aaron's an idiot. That happens honestly. almost every season. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. The If you're not here for the right reasons, leave. Because yeah. it would be a big insecurity if you're like picking someone and you have all these choices to pick the wrong choice and yeah. pick somebody that's not really there for you would be stressful. Like that would be a stressor. I don't like some of the men on the show. Big surprise. You probably can tell who we don't like. Yeah, there's a few people on my shit list. There's a few people. Honestly, the shit list is growing. All I know is I really don't like Sam M. Yes, and for his sure. Weird Aaron. He's slimy, dude. And he's he's creating this like sort of toxic click. He's talking about like being really violent with people if they yeah. weren't on the show, yeah. which is honestly That's a lot creepy. more than red flag. That, that, that is guy, creepy. That guy, everybody should watch out for yeah, at that point. You shouldn't right. be talking like I would mess you. I'd break you in no. half. That's, like that's what weird. you're gonna like 
assault him? Right. Is he admitting to premeditated assault? That's super weird behavior like, from like a grown man to talk about something yeah. else like that. And honestly, like men scare me sometimes. And like yeah. somebody talking that violently, like it scares me. That's yeah. scary. And if he's I don't willing like to do that. that to other people, again, that's what we were saying about Thomas the other day. Like yeah. if he's going to freak out at you or freak out at somebody else saying like, I never get disrespected. So right. what if Sam M feels like his violence is justified towards you then. Yeah, it what is if such, he feels you've disrespected yes. him? Is he going to turn that kind of behavior on you? And yeah. whether it's verbal or physical, it really doesn't, like, I'm not, I don't like that. So if I've got to put Sam M and Devin on, a on like, next to each other and compare, yeah. Devin's not saying shit like that yeah, at absolutely. all. I'm team Devin 100% in this, and in this fight. Devin has also been explaining some of his insecurities and i believe him yeah to having her. conversations yeah having actual conversations yeah. about like things that stress him out or things that worry him or experiences he's had that yeah. have been negative i don't think sam M is doing any of that he because... grabs her by the face and says let me shove my tongue down your throat that that's literally you, like gave me like bad chills really did yeah i didn't like it sorry <laughs> well, it's, like, i was describing him. but that's basically know, how he comes in every scene and it's scary i don't he's like, like come it. here baby yeah you I don't know, like moves that. her around. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't like it. And I know that she is so far like consenting and into it and whatever, but like, I just don't, I wonder if she knows cause he doesn't show up like that to her yeah. at all. Cause he's two faced and he's psycho. Yeah. yeah. She knows Devin's in the shit, but yeah. Devin's like, this is what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. And she knows he's like boisterous and his personality's yeah. big and he's a little bit off putting sometimes. Like she's seen him do all that. I don't think she's seen Sam M talk the way he talks to the producers and yeah. to the other contestants. And I feel like Thomas N is like his little lackey who like looks up to him and wants to be Sam M. Do you know he's what I'm saying? He's acting that way a little it's bit. Gross. Yeah. It's weird. High love, school behavior. Love to hear your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, leave the comments <laughs> down below. They also don't have to be our thoughts. I'm having some big feelings right now. Your feelings, feelings don't yeah. have to be my feelings. Like, it's totally okay and if you feel differently. we need time to process. And yeah. Then, yeah. So we, we often have different feelings after yeah, we've had some time. So. Um, like and subscribe if you want to continue watching with yes, us. Yes, please. And uh, we'll see you next week for the next episode. I Hopefully I'll be less angry. Hopefully. We'll see. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Then like, I got it knocked. And I started going, Wah! Ridiculous. Oh, that was a tearjerker. Hey, we're going to go on a cruise this summer. You should come with us.